Give me one minute, guys. I'm gonna set up my phone on my phone holder here. That way we have a great video here. And I gotta actually see the level of the, let me see. I think right here would be good. Okay. All right. So we're going to um, look at this book real quick. I'm not going to have time to actually explain everything in the book, but it's a great book. It's called Beginner's Guide to Comic Art Characters. And uh, <clears throat> it's pretty much about creating character. And this book is sort of like horizontal, so I'm going to have to show you like this, see? Like this way, see how it goes. So hopefully the camera angle will get it. I, I can't see what's going on because I'm actually working on the floor right now. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there's just too much noise in the kitchen area where I was working before. That dog does not stop barking. And so I'm all the way right near where the bathroom is that you can hardly barely hear the dogs barking. So. So hopefully uh, there won't be so much uh, interruption and noise, which I'm really getting tired and fed up with. But this is, an, anyway, going with the book, uh, this is a very great book. Uh, it shows you pretty much uh, how to create character. Um, and it's actually contributed by different artists. The tools in the trade you know, all the equipment that you need and all the drawing stuff, pens and inks, color markers, all the types of pens that you need. Pretty much every art, art book and every how to draw book explains all this, you know, so. How to do texture colors. How to do washes with colors. Actually, this is a black and white wash, like sort of like with gray tones. So it's all about character design. This is uh, by uh, Steve Root. He's one of my favorite artists. He's very classical. And it does show some type of nudity, but it's nudity in art. So it's not something to be worrying about. <clears throat> the mannequin. First you start off with the planning of the mannequin. And this is very simple to do because um, Right now it's just a regular pose, but you can actually make this mannequin and make lines for the legs, lines for the arms. This is an awesome drawing right here. Faces. The planes and the planes is what gives your, you know, your face more structure, you know, planes are very important. Planes in the forehead, there's planes everywhere, planes in the nose, planes in the side view nose profile, planes in the nose in the bottom of the mouth, there's also planes. And these are things that are very important, you know, planes are very, very important when you're drawing faces. I think this is all done by Steve Root. Yeah, I think it's all done by Steve Root, yeah. Expressions. How to do different types of expressions with planes too at the same time. Like 
expressions, poses, more poses, done in perspective, of course. Fantastic stuff. I like the way Steve Rue does his um, his drawings. He reminds me so much of um, Andrew Loomis and Alex Ross. And uh, Alex Ross uh, actually took a lot of ideas from Loomis. Very, very classical Superman style. Very classic, very classic stuff here. Inking. Great pens to work with. The micro pens and the brush pen. That's something like what I have here. The brush pen. And the micro pens. You could work with either a one, a graphic one, or a regular one, a two, a number three, a number four, all the way to eight. And I think up to 10, I'm not really sure. This is how you actually ink your drawings. Hopefully, if I have more time, I'm going to do some tutorials on inking because I need a lot of uh, practice with inking. Inking is not easy. <clears throat> so let me go a little faster because I want to work with you guys with some techniques and methods. And then the next video I probably will do today is uh, character design. Let's see what happens. It depends. This is how to create a character by using all kinds of pictures, like from, al from not aliens, I would say lizards. Um, you can use the idea of a lizard and create your own lizard mutant, you see? So it's not a bad idea in creating a, a lizard hero or a lizard mutant, whatever you want to create. Most of this stuff is probably done in computers. Yeah, most yeah, most of this stuff is done in computers. This one, I think it's when you're creating a, a toy figure. Um, it says here, accessories, choose the right pose. You can tell it's sort of like a, uh, sort of like a, a mapping, a dummy drawing of a toy figure. That's what it is. And it's, of course, done in all com com computers. Everything mainly done in computers here. The female villain. The portrait sketching, construct the body, finish the body. Add the closing. Grayscale the sketch, color sketch, Co 
color the, the line art. You add color. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole book because it's a lot of pages and plus um, it's a lot of explaining. So all I can tell you is that it's a great book, especially for character design. So look out for this book. I think you can find it. It's a little bit too old. Um, you could probably, I found it used, but very cheap. And uh, you could probably find it on eBay. Um, I'm pretty sure they probably have more copies of this book. It's called Beginner's Guide to Comic Art Character. So most of the books that I get is from eBay, but I find them used. Okay, so now we're going to go on and let me check with a camera angle to see how I'm going to do this. Because right now I'm working in the floor, so I have to face it this way, I guess. Right near this thing here. Yeah, I just want to study the measurements. So let me get some drawing paper. Give me a minute, guys. Okay, got some drawing paper. Let me see. I gotta open my other package. All right. I know this is kind of crazy working on the floor, but I have no choice. It's because there's just too much noise on the other side. So bear with me. Um, I'm doing my very best to do good videos, but everything has to do with time and uh, on my days off and plus, you know, a quiet, because every artist, and I keep telling everybody that in order to do a tutorial or if you're drawing or creating something, you need peace and quiet, man. There's no doubt about it, people. You just need peace and quiet. And then you can work with music also when you're doing your drawings, but make sure you work with good, nice, classical music or something that you really enjoy, you know. Not like the people next door to me that they listen to that reggaeton crap. Oh, I can't draw with that kind of music. I just can't. You know, it's, it's, it's music that I really can't really stand. All right, so anyway, let's go back with this. Um, these are different techniques that I've been um, actually um, practicing, you know, step by step. This is uh, by Paul Abrams. And everything that I take note of, I actually write down the, the artist's name, or if it's on from YouTube, or if it's from Google, and I keep mentioning, try to make your own how to draw book. And um, pretty much step by step what you see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working page by page because I added some new techniques. So we'll work with this one with the Paul Abrams. And uh, okay, let's see. Let's start. Let's use a bigger pencil here. This is something that I've been practicing with. This might really help. to bring my tea. Well, I guess I'll get it later. Now, Paul Abrams, um, he does pretty much like, you know, slicing the face, the heads and all that. And at the same time, um, his women, when he does the male and the, the male and the female, uh, the eyes are located differently. Like for example, the female, the eyes, are in the center see and the male is underneath the horizontal line you see so that's what we're going to capture here first we're going to do the male and it doesn't matter because you're going to actually fix this the size and the proportions of the face so we're going to do this in um this is just a you know a regular sketch we're just going to do this um, 
Let me get my ashtray for a second. Hold on. I'll be back, guys. Get my ashtray. Also got my tea. I hope at least clear my throat a little bit. Hmm. Pretty hot, so I have to wait to it. <clears throat> All right, so let's sharpen this. So the eyes is actually five eyes. Five eyes or three eyes length, always remember. So we'll do the eyes here. So this one is actually used for comic books. So you can actually um, work with this technique for doing comic book faces if you want. So now we're gonna divide, you know, actually slice the head. And then we're going to actually, um, the nose will be around here. And the mouth, one eye space down, right around here. The bottom of the lip. And then the chin will be around here. Okay, now that we slice this, the circle, which is the oval, this will be the correct length of the face. Remember, you don't want to make it too big. Not every face is too round. So you need to shape the face. Pretty much like I've shown you in this, this page here uh, from this book that you can see he started off with the oval and then he started slicing vertically the sides of the oval, okay? That's what he did. So that's the same thing with um, Paul Abrams. Now we can start working with the eyebrows. Bridge of the nose, center, and then down here you go down to the corners of the nose. Then the mouth. And then say you have the iris done already, so the iris would be, the length of the mouth would be where the corner of the iris, not in the center. Usually some mouths are different. Sometimes the mouths might, might be up to here. Another way of knowing this is by actually doing the um, triangle method like this. That's a good way of figuring the length of the mouth. You could try that too. So, <clears throat> now we could um, work with um, the size of the face, the contour of the face. Bring out the cheekbones. This would be the jaw. And right around here, underneath where this lip is, the jaw kind of stops here and it tapers in. It turns. You're turning the the um, the contour of the jaw, okay? The same thing over here. Straight down. And we turned all the way down this way. And now, you can continue with the eyes. The mouth. And the ears. And most
most of you already know that you know the ear lens so where the eyes are and where the nose is so, so right now I'm not going to do a lot of explanation like most videos that I do because I'm pretty sure you guys are probably tired of it already but uh, many of you are probably new so I will explain some stuff um, but everything has to do with proportions and measurements that's that's how you do faces and heads and three-quarter views and uh, profiles the neck is around here So I'm not going to go to further details. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, <clears throat> give you an idea how this is done so far. You know, I've done enough, I think. Um, and I can't erase any of these. Uh, maybe I could, yes, the, um, the construction lines. Of course, I could erase some of that. It's not all of it. This is actually in black. So it's hard to erase this one. Plus, I don't want to waste my eraser that much, especially on these type of pens. And this is a great pen. It's like a pen that has an eraser and you just press and it's really cool. Just make sure that when you erase it's up to here because you might break the, the eraser. It's a great thing to have, especially when you want to erase details, little details like this. Okay. this also erase this so since this is done in this type of pencil which is hard to erase uh, usually pencil is easier to erase but you have to really really dig down to erase all that so now we can do the eyes center line we could use a, a square shape to do the iris. of the hair details and remember don't exaggerate the hair do layers of hair kind of like if kind of like planes like the planes of the face well the hair has layers and planes that actually form the hair okay now we're going to do the female using the Paul Abrams method and maybe we'll use the backside we'll use the female actually we'll do the female not use the female We're going to draw the female now. So the female, it's a little bit different. The eyes are going to be in the line. So we'll do the eyes. First, I want to work with her eyes. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Then I could use a triangle method. To do the nose. One eye down would be the mouth, and this would be the chin right here. So I'm going to start working with her um, eyebrows.
I could also use the um, this technique also the V shape in order to do the arch eyebrows because the female is very different from the man's face and plus she also have planes which is very important to draw the planes. So now I'm going to actually divide not divide but slice off the sides of her face which are these two lines here just like I did with the male character and then start <clears throat> rendering the face sort of like chisel out form the head a little bit better than down here and then of course you know do the cheekbones coming out a little bit for example and there, there's a page here which uh which I'm going to show you. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Where did it go? It's here, it's here. I just got to find it. Just got to find it. Otherwise, it's going to take all day. Just look at one of his his uh, faces here um, by uh, Steve Rude, and we'll study how he does his front view. Okay, if you look at this, the structure of her face tapers in upward, sort of like a diamond shape, you see, and then it goes out this way because of the cheekbones, the structure of her face. And of course, a lot of women and men have different sizes of a face. You know, they have different shapes on their faces. And that's why it's always important to use, um, you know, planes for the face, which I mentioned before. See, the planes are very important. So that's what we're going to do here. We're actually going to use planes. And these planes are actually going to help you actually bring out the face, the shape of the face, and then you taper in all the way down. And then over here, of course, it tapers upward. And then the ears. Bridge of the nose, center, and the mouth. Right there, and then the neck are where the same length of the eyes are. So, is women's neck are more smaller and slender. So, you always have to keep that in mind. So I'm not going to, you know, finish the whole drawing. I'm just giving you an idea, the construction and the planes of the face. Okay, so you have an idea pretty much how you do um, the Paul Abrams method in drawing comic book faces. And uh, Paul Abrams, uh, he, his faces are more like, comic book style but you could actually transform it into more like realistic kind of like um, Loomis or a little bit like Alex Ross or Neil Adams you know the most important thing is that you observe the way the technique is the method you know that's the most important thing all right so we have a woman's face there 
So remember that the woman's eyes, when you do the eyes, when you locate the eyes, is supposed to be in a center, okay? In the center of the um, horizontal line. The man is underneath. Now, there are times that sometimes the eyes are changed a little bit, but it depends how you look at it. All right, so let's try another technique. Let's try something else. Um, this is something that I actually observed from YouTube. It might work. Let's, let's give it a shot. This is also a front view. Vertical line. Indicate where the jaw line is. And then we do the shape all the way up. And this will be the center, just like almost, it's almost like the Loomis method. It's just the center over here. And then the eye line should be right here. The eye is going to fall on top of this line. So the nose line here, the mouth right here. So you just make sure that the proportions are okay. And now we could start working with the segments of the eyes, which are little tiny vertical lines for the eyes. And now the next thing we do is we start chiseling out, refining, not refining, but blocking out the eyes, nose, so like a triangle shape. And we could chisel out the face like that. Block in the shape of the face. So this doesn't look right. So in if you want, you could do what I did before with the, Abr the Paul Abrams method. You could slice it here and slice it here. And that would be the size of your face. There you go. So it's better now with the proportions. Once, once you slice this right here, it actually comes out better. Chisel. And when I say chisel, it's another word I learned. You chisel out the shape, you know, you're chiseling out. You're sort of like, you know, rendering the shape of the face. That's what chisel. There's so many uh, names we can use. Blocking also. Cheekbones. But this is more like a comic book style. You know, you can tell it's very, very comic. Comic book face style. If, you want to, if you're into more like comic book faces. A little bit like a Loomis style, but more like comic book. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do this technique. So let's try out this one right here. This is another one that I actually observed from YouTube. And keep in mind, most of these techniques come from different countries, different you know languages that it's kind of hard for me to figure out, but I actually, you know, since I'm an artist and I actually know about these things. So, you know, actually observe the way they draw and, you know, step by step how they do it. So it actually, everything starts, you know, coming in place, especially when you're drawing faces or figures, whatever. So this one is going to be a little bit different. This one, we're going to start out with the eyebrows. Measure one eye down. This will be where my eyes are going to be at. And we do the, the nose will be around here. Which measure? Okay. 
this would be where the chin would be. You can measure the mouth here and the chin right here. Always remember that the uh, mouth is in between the chin and the nose. So the mouth will be here. You could actually do an oval for a woman's mouth. There's going to be a woman, so. Now we can start working. Like you see here, the shape of her face. You can start working with the details of her eyes if you want. Bridge of the nose, lips. And then little by little, you start shaping the contour, the shape of her face. And this one takes a lot of practice and you, you know, you really got to take your time with this one. And then the hair would be around here, the neck. So if you want, you can use this technique, it actually will help you out. Figure out the shape. So I'm going to do half of the face because I don't have time to do because there's so many things I want to share with you guys. So we're just going to concentrate, you know, how to do, looks like she has a beard there, so how to erase that. That looks bad. Oh my God, that looks bad. So, so I'm going to erase this a little bit. That's the thing, when you're working with these type of black pencils, they're very hard to erase. So what I should have done before, I used the circle technique. So the, always remember that the, the chin is up, up here, so pay no mind to this part. There's a hairline right here, and then we start working out with the hair. Okay. And remember that the length of the eye is the length of the neck. Because women's neck are slender and skinny. Very uh, feminine there. So we have an idea. <coughs> Excuse me. We have an idea how this is done. It's not an easy process, but it takes a lot of time. Okay, so... It might help you out. All right, so let's try something else, something new that I actually start, started uh, checking out from this uh, Indian guy from India. He did an awesome drawing of a front view. So let's try this one out. And let's get some more. Maybe we could do it here. I don't know. Let's see. I just, um, the back side. Yeah, we'll actually use a different paper here. Let's get some more paper. still have my sinuses are really bad this is the the air conditioner in this house is is too strong so and since my brother is not here and hardly anybody's around so i have the ac controlled like i turned it off for a while and uh, it's pretty hot out there, but where I'm at right now is not so hot. So, because once you have the AC the whole night on, the, the house stays cool. So, I hardly use, I don't like using the uh, air conditioner that much. It messes my sinuses. Okay, so we're going to do a, um, the block method, but this one is going to be a little bit different. It's more like a square technique. Right here would be the chin area right here. 
So I gotta really pay attention to this one. This is the nose, eyebrow right here, and the nose should be around here. So the chin is right here. So this one, we start the eyebrows right here. The eye line. Indicate the eyes right here. And the nose. Triangle shape. Now we can work with the mouth right here. So we actually measure this correctly. Got the nose. So this is going to be a male, so we'll do a mustache on this guy. Alright, so now we could um, start working with the whole segment of his face. So I start chiseling out, rendering the contour of his face. Give me a minute, guys, for a second. So this is sort of like the Serpino method. I know most of you already are in his channel, especially my friends on Facebook already know who Serpino is. Serpino. He's from Argentina. And he has sort of like that Italian accent in Spanish, of course. So he speaks a little bit, kind of like how the American Italians would speak here. Not Italian Americans, mostly like the way like early, early immigrant Italians were talk like, this is the way you do it, you see. This is not, this is how you do the eyes, the nose, the mouth, you know, with the, in the right proportions, you know. That's how the Italians actually used to talk. Where I used to live in upstate Tarrytown, there were a lot of... Uh, uh, immigrant Italians that would have that accent. They would speak English, believe it or not, but in their accent. You know, their... No, I had to work very hard, you know, I had to make sure that toma the tomatoes grow. Yeah, so that's how you do this uh, technique right here, see? All right, now let's do this one, which I'm dying to share this one with you guys. This one is really cool. Alright. We're going to work with um... <clears throat> sort of like the Serapino method, but this one is going to be a little bit different. 
and let's do the face like that, I guess. And we'll do the side of the face here. And then we start. Actually, let me use this pencil better. Chiseling out, blocking in the contour of his the side of his face first all the way down to the chin this will be the chin here and then this side the cheekbones this will be the side of his forehead and we have an idea what we're doing here This one we're going to start the nose. We're going to block in the nose, which is sort of like a uh, triangle, three-dimensional triangle. The eye line would be around here. Now we might want to make sure that the proportions are correct. We're not going to finish this whole drawing because we're just actually mapping out, blocking in the shapes of the face, especially with the, uh, the planes and all that. That's what we're doing here now. So what I'm going to do now is actually um, after I chisel, you know, chisel out the face and everything, I block in, use the, uh, the scribbling or the, uh, the shading technique to give it more form and this actually helps me figure out how to draw the features afterwards underneath here and right here underneath the mouth and the neck We'll do a hint, you know, a little bit of his features. We can start this eye here. And then the corner of the nose is going to go up. Right here would be the other eye. Right there, see? And eyebrows. So we have an idea what we're doing, see? Okay, now we're gonna work with this technique, which is this, almost the same thing, we're actually gonna do a, a profile. So let's work with the profile. Maybe we'll use the backside, I'm not sure. Yeah. Now we'll use a clean page for this. Okay, some more tea here. Start off 
of the front of the face, the eyebrow line, the nose, and the chin. And we uh, round it off the size. And right around here is the ear line right here. And we can do the jaw. And we can start blocking in the contour of, of the face. Fix the jaw a little bit, the ear. First work with the corner of the nose and the planes of the nose. Now we can do planes or if you want just do the eye. Remember the corner of the nose you go up and that would be the eye and then you can work with the planes. Right there. That actually works out. Try to be more careful with the back of the head. Just make sure that you have the correct proportion of the head. Like that, see? It actually goes down where the ear is, like around there. That's, that would be more the proper proportion of the head. Looks more like the classical Loomis profile, kind of a little. Not that much, but just a little. There you go. So that method is this is sort of like the, using Loomis and Serpino at the same time. So I did it right here. One, two, three, and then you start shaping the whole head if you want, or you could start with this line first. Start with the front line first. Then you do the segments for the eyebrow line, the nose line, the chin line. Then you can do the, um, the whole shape of the head and then start the ear line right here. So it's very easy. It's not so hard to do. All right, so let's try this one here. This is something else, but this is mostly done for like comic book, cartooning, and it's also done for manga in case you want to draw a manga face or something. So we'll start with a basic um, oval shape. Let me um, get more paper because that sound kind of is like very annoying, you know, especially when you draw. It'll, at least it'll kill it a lot, you know, the sound. So you won't be able to hear it that much. Once you put a lot of paper on the knee for maybe a cardboard or something. There, it's not so bad now. So here is a little bit different. We're going to start off indicating where the eyes are going to be. Sort of like using dot techniques. Little circles, dots. And then the nose would be around here mouth and the chin and like always we're going to do the segments for the size of the eye which is the um three eyes length you start from the center of this line outward see don't worry about the eyes because you're going to fix that later on those dots are going to help you trust me figure out the size of the eye so so you might gonna have to use that in the first process. So this is a sort of like a different method. So we're gonna do the same thing like Paul Abrams and the Loomis. We're gonna slice off the size of the face. And then we're gonna start working with the correct proportions. Sort of like an egg shape. 
okay, let's see. Now we can erase those dots and then start making the eyes. Just make sure it's the same length, nice and level on both sides. Let's make her eyes, it's gonna be a woman, so we'll make her eyes looking sideways. And then we'll do her eyebrows. Right there. A hint of her hair. And then we bring down the segments from the corner of the eyes. That will be her nose. And women usually have small nose, so you can use a small little triangle to do the nose. Do the lips. Okay, so we have an idea of her mouth there. Now we have this chiseled already, sliced already, so we could start working with. The outline of her face. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I wish I didn't have to suffer these uh, sinus problems that I have. And it's, these, uh, it's just the AC, the air conditioning is too strong everywhere here in Miami. It's just and that kind of affects me a little bit. Start shaping her face a little better. Neck, right there. Mouth. of the nose. sharpen this a little bit more.
idea what we're doing here. Okay, so you have an idea pretty much how you do this technique right here. Very simple, you just start off with the dots, the nose, the mouth, and then you actually start chiseling it, blocking in the shape of the face by sort of like slicing these sides over here. Okay, so now let's do something different here. Let's see if I can remember this one. Yeah, this one is a little bit different, but this is good for three quarter views if you guys want to do three quarter views. Uh, let me see how this one, what pencil I should use for this one. Do a vertical line first. Horizontal line for the eyebrow line. Nose. Mouth. And chin. And we'll, this will be the side of the face right here. And this will be the other part, which is going to be the side of the face over here. So if you want, you could shade this part off. This part right here is shade right here. The bottom of the eye. Don't worry about the, because uh, little by little, it'll start taking shape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working with the nose. First, I can use the triangle also to make that nose. Mouth, oval shape for her mouth. I can use the um, triangle also for the, the length of her mouth. Or I could use the oval on the outside, like, like this, to make the mouth. thing I'm going to do is, is the eye right here go up. This would be where I'm going to set her eyes. Right here. Then her other eye over here. So I have an idea what I'm doing now. Now I can work with the framing of the contour of her face. right here the mouth chin And then, right here where this line is, you can start working with the planes. Straight down to where the chin is, see? And then little by little you follow up. Little by little you start seeing the shapes. It's called visual effect. Here, the ears will be on the same length of the nose. Right there. And that's it. The rest is up to you. You want to add hair, make her a mutant, a monster, whatever. This is how you actually start off with this technique. Just using these two lines here. You start off with the vertical line, horizontal line, for the uh, eyebrow line, nose line, chin line, and then you work with this side. But remember, if it's a three-quarter view, you're going to see less 
on this side and you're going to see more on this side. You're going to add more space. Okay. And then little by little, your face will start taking shape. All right. So let's start another one. This one is a little bit different. And we'll use this side. Let's start working with uh, this big pencil first. This will be the eye line. And I'm going to do a hint of her eyes, you see? A perspective kind of. So I, actually, I will start better with the eyebrow line first. Nose and the chin, and then do the eyes better like that, see? Now, this is a really cool technique. I saw this. It was really fast. I had to, like, slow down the speed, you know, because I hate these time-lapse uh, videos. They're, they're not good. They're, they're not going to teach you that much. So when you see these time-lapse, try to go to your settings and slow down the video. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working with the shape of her face. And this is a great method in doing uh, a three-quarter view and uh, portrait drawing, too, at the same time. So this actually works out. So little by little, since you have all this done, you'll, you're going to start seeing, you know, the shapes take form. You could, you know, do the nose if you want, a hint of the, the bridge of the nose here, then do the eyes here, then work with the other eye over here. And then over here, a triangle shape to do the form of the nose, like that. Then the mouth right here. And the eyebrows here, the other eyebrow here. Like that. Oof, my foot is asleep. And it's uh, the position I'm in. So I'm actually doing all this on a floor in order to avoid background noise. And over here, you don't hear too much, too much the people talking too loud or the dog barking. It's just incredible. That dog never stops to bark. I'm going to start working with the lips right there. Remember, you're going to see less here and you're going to see more on this side. So that means the lip is going to be extended out a little bit more. There you go. So it's coming out pretty good. We'll fix the cheekbone just a little bit. Make that oval here to help me figure out the length of her face. And she's looking corner. And you can work with the planes, just like the other method. Little by little, you're going to see the shape actually taking form. But I kind of like this one better because you're actually visualizing the eye segments at the same time. So it actually works out. So you could try this one out. Maybe this will help you out with your portrait drawings. All right here, the jaw. Right here. You start seeing the shape start taking form, little by little. Remember the light reflection is coming from this side. So you want to make sure that this side of the eye is dark. This side of the nose, lips, this side of the eye. And so you have a whole ears right there. Ears. Make an oval for the ears if you want. And then the rest of the face will start taking form. And the hairline. Once you have the hairline, you can start working with all types of hairstyles. 
Always remember the hairline. It's like planes, you know. This here and this here and this here are planes. This here and this here is definitely planes. And this here and this here is definitely planes. And this here also where the, the middle part of the eye and the center where the nose is, is also a plane. Almost practically everything that you see on a face is actually a plane. That's what gives your face more shape. Also, there's planes in the lips. In the lips. There's also planes. This would be the bottom of the lip. Like that, see? There's also planes on the lips. That's what gives everything shape, okay? Now, now that we did this one, let's work out with uh, this one right here. And this one is pretty cool. This one is like using the box technique, the box method. This will be the eye line here, the nose, the mouth, and the chin. Then we'll make a vertical line for the center of the face. Okay, make sure it's level on both sides, even. Okay. And then we're going to do a V shape to do those eyebrows. And right here, we're going to go down and that would be the eyes. So we're going to make her looking down. The nose. Triangle. Okay, just a little higher. The mouth right here and the chin would be here. So we start doing her eyes and we're just going to work on one side of the face. Let me work with the ink. This time I want to work with ink. And this is just, even though I'll make a mistake because sometimes inking, uh, you won't be able to erase it, but you know, this is just a quick sketch. Nose right here, and then the mouth. So I'm going to just do half of the face. That way, you see what I'm trying to demonstrate here. And then now I can start working with um, <clears throat> the cheekbones here, the size of her face, which is the the contour of her face. Right here would be the jaw straight down to where the chin is. See? Then I'm going to do sort of like an oval or a circle to make that roundness of her eyes. Right there. See? The bridge of her nose, the center of her nose. a little bit darker. So you understand what I'm showing here. The lips always have planes. Always. Okay. So that's a very good method to actually use when it comes to uh, drawing a front view face. Okay. All right, so let's do something different here. Let's do 
another method here and I think I've done this one with you guys but I'll do it again just in case all right what we're going to do is we're going to work the pencil first and let me see if I can remember this one um, the size of the face. We start here first and up here, then down here. Then we have a shape of the face, of the head. Then we're going to do that V shape that goes straight down to where the chin is. And voila! We have the structural, um, sort of like a diamond shape. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off an eye size nose, okay? Then we're going to go up. That would be the segments for my eyes right here. If you want, you can make a center line. That actually helps you indicate the right proportions of the eye, the center line here. Start here and start here. So we have an idea of what we're doing. And then if you want, you just erase that. That's gonna throw you off later, so. And after that, we'll do it on this side right here and over here. And at the same time, when you're doing all this construction line, draw lightly. You don't really have to, you know, tighten in the pencil, like really, like this. No, you just draw lightly, like ghost, you know, ghost image, okay? Because if you do it like this, you know, you're going to end up um, having trouble erasing all these construction lines that you don't need afterwards. Okay, so the bridge of the nose will be around here. And we'll do the um, eyebrow here. Let's make him something like maybe Ming from... Flash Gordon or something. I don't know. We'll just do something here. And the nose. He's got like a crooked, evil nose. And this side also. And now we can construct the face. First, if we want, we can start working with the features. Eyebrows. Bridge of the nose. Mouth. We already have the shape of the face done, so what we have to do is bring out the cheeks just a little bit outward, and you're going to see your face starts taking form. So it's going to look a little bit kind of like comic book, um, John Buscema style face, kind of. A little, not that much, but. More like the uh, classic comic book style face. And then the neck. We did that wrong there. I can always fix it. 
Okay, so I only did half of half of the the side, uh, the half of the face because I I just want to keep showing you more methods and techniques. So you have an idea how you do this, and all you got to do is like go back on the video and check out how I started out from the beginning. All right, so let's try out this one right here. And maybe we'll do it on this side right here. Right. We'll do it on this side. We can use the I technique, the letter I, and then do the oval. Do the egg shape afterwards, the oval. And this is going to be a woman. And we want to make sure, first we're going to do the eye line here, around here. And then what we're going to do is indicate the eyes. Right there, the eye over here, the other eye here. Make sure it's level on both sides. Nicely balanced. And we'll do the nose line. planes for the forehead and now we could slice off the size of her face to make that correct proportion of her face after that we start shaping if you want you can start working with the hair so you have an idea of what you're doing and now we're just going to work on one side of the face so that way you get to see the beginning of the process and i'm actually going to do this in ink so you'll see it more clear what i'm doing here okay okay now you have an idea what i did there so now, I can work with her eyes first, maybe the bridge of the nose, and the nose first, that's what I'm going to do. Go up, and then fix her eye, and then start rendering the contour of her face. Her cheek might come out just a little bit, and it depends on the face that you're drawing. Taper in to do the correct size. The mouth, yeah. Right there, and the eyebrows, right there. And right here would be the length of her neck. So in other words, you're doing this right here. Sort of like a diamond shape. Uh, and you're tapering. Of course, the cheekbone is right here. And then we go straight down like that. Okay. This will be her eyes. There you go. See? So that's a very good way in doing a front view comic book style. And then after that, you could add more details, you know, make her eyelashes, make something gothic underneath her eye, whatever, you know, do something crazy. And then her lips more darker right there. Underneath her neck. And of course, black is more better, so. Black is definitely better when it's especially something evil or gothic or something. Just make sure that's nice and shade. Her lips right there. And of course her hair is gonna be. So I'm just doing half of the face so that way you can see the construction, how I started out. Maybe I should have done those those type of um, 
tutorials before by just doing half of the face. But I'm pretty sure you guys will have an idea of what I'm doing here. Unfortunately, I don't have a computer. But if I, if I had a computer, and then again, I definitely need to learn how to use a computer. I'm old school, guys. So, you know, it is it is what it is. Some people have computers and they can't do good tutorials. At least I try to do take my time when I do my tutorials. And plus, I don't use um, time lapse. So it's the best you can find, trust me. And I like to work the classic way. The classic way is better. Okay, so that's how you do this type of technique over here by using the front view. You can use it also for a male character. It really doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going to do the Loomis method again because I know many of you need a lot of uh, practice with the profile and maybe we'll do it um, because I don't want to use, maybe, uh, let's see, yeah, I'll use uh, clean paper. So, we're going to do this one big and let me sharpen this again. And it's, I think it's time to get more pencils, uh, especially these type of pencils. And unfortunately here in Miami, they don't have shops here. I got to go far away to find a good art shop. All right, so This will be like the Loomis method. Now, be careful when you do this because you want to get the correct proportions. I will start off with the jaw, right there. Do the eye line right here. An eye line or a V shape for the eye. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. This is the nose line. This will be the eyebrow line, nose line, chin line. You do a hint of the jaw, and then you do the eye right there. So all you got to do now is start. You can work with the planes of the face if you want. Or you could start out from the outside first, which is the, um, the contour of the face. Now that you have this eye here, you'll be able to actually balance the nose better and then do this technique here that would actually help you improve where the mouth would be do the triangle shape something like that in order to get that correct proportions of the mouth right there and then the chin comes out like that right there and then right there we do the bottom of back of the neck. This would be the ears. Okay, so that's more like the Loomis, the classic Loomis style method. Okay, so let's do this again. This time we'll do a woman. The center. So be remember, it's four quarters. The nose line. And this will be the chin line. You could do a line first like that and then do the nose line, then the chin line, that would be better. Then do the eye around here. 
Make sure that this nose line goes out further out because that's going to be the contour of the nose. Then right here a line for the ear, then you would start the jaw first through the mouth line also, that way you can actually figure out where that jaw is going to taper in. Then you can start working with the framing of the woman's face. Remember that the woman's nose is kind of like very feminine. It kind of tips up a little bit. Okay, so you always got to be careful when you're drawing the woman's mouth. Also, when you're doing the lips, it's sort of like more like kind of like um, like a V shape, but it comes out like this. Okay, so that's kind of like an eye. And then you do the lips like this, you see. So that's what we're doing over here. We want to capture the lips like this. See? But really take your time doing this because this actually takes a lot of practice. Then the ears are over here. Back of the neck. Always remember back of the ears where the, the back of the neck is going to start coming out. Woman's neck is actually more skinnier and more longer and slender. Okay? I should have. Well, you have an idea how the lip is already, so it's just this kind of messed me up over here. And then when you do the eye on a profile, this is the, a V-shape for the eye. Remember, a V-shape for the eye and a V-shape for the lips, except that when you do the V-shape for the lips, the front comes in further in. The eye stays automatically like this, straight. So you're going to round it off like this. That would be where the pupil is, where the iris. Eyelashes come out. The eyelid, like this, okay? On the lips, this line is going to help me. This will be the top of the lip, and this will be the bottom of the lip, see? And this will be the top of the where underneath the nose is. The chin, just slightly in, but not too far out. You don't want to exaggerate on the chin, so be careful when you do the chin. All right, so you have an idea of the Loomis method, kind of. Um, pretty much, that's how you actually do the Loomis method with the profile. Okay, so now let's do another one. Let's work. Let me see, let me see. look at this one first. What did I do here? Hold on a second, hold on. Just wanna make sure. Okay, let's do this one right here, which I forgot to show you. This is a, also a three-quarter view, and this is great for portrait, portrait drawing and comics. So let's start working out with this. Give me a minute. I think somebody knocked my door. the wind pushing the doors they sound like someone's knocking on your door but it's the wind the wind all right so okay so this one this is a little bit different and this one I seen by another video I saw on YouTube but he did it so fast and it was kind of blurry so it took a while for me to figure it out some of these tutorials on YouTube, are, they look very blurry, so you really got to pay attention to the way they actually do their, their process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the shape of the face, you see? This part is going to be smaller, and this part is going to be bigger because it's a three-quarter view. So I start rounding off the shape of the face, you see? Little by little. And now... 
I'm going to start working with the nose. So, you know, I could use the triangle method. And this part here, bring in the shape where the eye socket is, which is the contour of the side of the face right here. And little by little, I'm shaping the face. See? A little hint of the mouth here. Chin. And right here, I'm going to see... I actually would visualize where the eye would be. So what I'm going to do is I do a line this way and visualize where the eye would be. So the eye would be around here, right? So then that means the cheek line would be around here, which is the planes, of course, and the plane of the forehead over here, see? Now I could start adding more mass, more shape in back of the head. And then right here, I'm going to be able to see where the hairline is. Right here would be the ear line, right there, see? So I'm going to do this in, in a darker... See guys, I, first I started out the segments here, which is the uh, eyebrow line, nose line, chin line. And then I rounded it off, you know, doing sort of like an oval shape. Then I started working with the nose. Then I did the contour of the face, you see? Notice how I actually sliced it out a little bit because this whole segment here that I did before actually helps me form the whole head. So it really doesn't matter if you actually, you know, change a little bit the contour, you know, as long as you're getting it right. So then mouth line here, and I start, if I want, I can do that oval method to form the shape of the face. Yeah, I could do that too. Then I'll start working with the eye line straight down where the edge of the eye is to figure out where my cheek lines are going to be, which is the planes of the face, of course. And right here would be the jawline, right around there, see? So I'm not gonna do any features on this. I'm just, you know, showing you how to construct the whole face. You're gonna know immediately, once you see the, sh you know, the shapes start, start taking form, you're gonna see that right here, you're gonna start the nose first, the corner of the nose, you know. I'm just gonna give you an idea. The mouth stops here because of the perspective, the foreshortening. And of course, you see less on this side. When it's a three-quarter view, you go up, right? And that would be where the eye is gonna be. You already had it set up right here, so you're gonna actually see these things little by little. And then, of course, um, fix the proportions just a little bit more. Once you start working with the whole shape of the face, little by little, you'll start seeing the shape start taking form, okay? Then everything else starts taking place. All right. Let me get my watch, guys, because I wanna know how much time I actually did this video. So it's one o'clock right now, so soon I'll be finished. I just want to share with you guys some stuff that I've been practicing on. All right, so, um, okay, now we're going to do, we did this one already, and we did this one already. Yeah, this one, this one, which I should have done it in ink, but it's in penciling. But anyway, I'm going to do it in, in with a darker pencil so you can see pretty much what I've done here. So this one is good for also portrait drawing. So pay attention how I start this out. Like always, sometimes you can start a face with a cross, which is the center of the face. This would be 
um, let me see, uh, yeah, the um, eye line. Always start from the center of the vertical line. Do a little hint of the center of the eye, little hint there, and that would be my eyes right there, okay? Now, the next thing I'm gonna start is working a hint with the eyebrow line here. I'm actually gonna do the eyebrows there. Now, bring this down. Actually, you know, draw a line down. And little by little, you're going to visualize where the nose line is going to be. This will be the corners of the nose, center of the nose. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the mouth. One eye down. The bottom of the chin. And then right there. Mouth right there. Okay, so we have an idea so far. We are going to do not a perfect, perfect face, but you know, it's the idea of creating a face by starting but with the center line. Okay, so now we're going to work. Oh yeah, this line going up here, which is the planes of the forehead. And yeah, before I forgot to mention that, remember, we're going to, just like the oval that we did, we kind of like sliced off the oval to make the, the proportions. Well, you can do it the same thing with this technique also. You're going to actually indicate the size of the face right there. That's what we should have done before. I'm going to have to go back on the video and look at it again to see how we did this. But I have an idea how it is so far. That would be the size of the face right there. Okay, now we start rendering the shape of the face. You could, you know, loose lines, little by little. Let's fix the nose a little bit. And let's do the hint of the eyes. And right around here would be the corner of the mouth. So that would be the corner of the mouth. You could also do the uh, the triangle method also to indicate the corners of the mouth right there. All right. This would be the hairline. And then we taper in the shape of the face inward. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work for you guys. You can try it out. It might work, you know. Maybe I should do this again, do the whole process again. Let's, let's do it again, just to, just to uh, see where we actually went wrong here. I'm gonna try to remember how this is done. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shape the eyes. That way that would actually help me improve better. And this would be, yeah, okay. The side of the eye. And then down, that would be my nose. An eye down is the mouth. Another eye down, or actually, all I have to do is measure where the chin would be right here, then do the mouth, yeah. Sort of like if the same measurements, yeah, kind of. Right there. That would be the chin line right there. And I'll do the hint of the eyebrow. Actually, the eyebrow will be around here. Actually, let me do this in darker pencil so you guys can see what I did here. Okay, I think this is gonna work, let's see. All right, so remember guys, I'm sort of like a scientist when it comes to drawing faces and heads and figures. You have to be like a scientist. Forget it's like, it is what it is. 
This will be the side of the face right here. Yeah, I think it, it's better now. Some techniques I gotta practice a lot because it's not easy, you know? But so far, this is coming out better. The proportions are way, way better on this. I just gotta fix the eyes a little bit better. I could also use the Hogarth method by doing the, the planes. Buying Hogarth or the George Bridgman actually works out too. It's sort of like a V shape kind of. So that actually works out. Let's see. Now I can do the bridge of the nose. And don't, don't worry about the, uh, the way the eyebrows are because sometimes the symmetry of the face is not the same. So there's no way that every face that you see, especially when you actually draw a portrait, the faces are not the same. like the AC turned on. But it's so hot outside, so <clears throat> it's gonna turn on. The only thing that's gonna just mess up my, uh, my cold. But anyway, I need the AC, the air conditioning. So that actually works out. Let's try another one. Let's try this one right here, the three quarter view. Let's sharpen this a little bit more. So this one actually works out pretty good. It's almost like the same ones that I showed you before, but it's just a little bit different. Okay. That's this one right here. And I actually wrote down the segments. Okay, so let me see. The cross, draw the contour, shape the head, then the features start with the nose. That's right. Okay, I got it right. 
try another one. This one is also using the cross technique, but you have to pay attention to this one. This one is a little bit complicating. So we'll start with features, start with the center, the cross technique. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, let me see, the eyebrows first. From the corner of the eyes, that would be the nose right here, down here. Triangle shape for the nose. That's another way of figuring the length of the nose. And then the mouth. This one I like. I like this one. It might work out for you guys. You could try this one out to see if it works. And the chin would be around here. You could do a circle also for the chin that actually helps out. So now what we're gonna do is got the six on okay. We start rendering the outline of the face. So we're gonna start sort of like if we were doing the planes. Like that, see? All the way down to the chin. And I like this one better because it's got more structure. It's not like you have to figure out like the whole shape of the face. Then, once you have this, you start, little by little, visualizing the rest of the face. Remember that the length of the mouth is like where the edge of the iris is. So let's do the iris right there and then we'll do the corners of the mouth right there, see? So I kind of like this one. This actually would actually help me and maybe you guys, you can try this one out. This might work out. It gives it more of a realistic framing of the face I, I would guess not just only that it's more constructional and you can see more of the structure of the face so I like this one better now you got to remember the planes of the forehead also and once you have all this you'll be able to see the ears right here but first draw the the shape of the, the whole head which it's sort of like another tapering up kind of from here like that kind of like that so this might work out let's see let's see it's always good to go for the challenge Okay, there you go. So, let's try this one again. It's always good to try it again, let me see. We'll use the back of the page to give us a better view because the, the back drawing kind of helps out a little bit. Right there. The eye line here. First we'll do the, let's work with the eyes first. This time this one, with the eyes first and then we'll do the eyebrows nose right around there the mouth right around there and the chin right there so we have an idea how the eyes are going to be now we can work with the diamond shape the planes of the face straight down to 
sort of like a V shape all the way down to where the chin is. Yeah, I think this would be better start up here first and then go straight down. Yeah, this works better. Actually, let me write this down. Hold on. Let me see. I started this and then, yeah, this would be better. Let me erase this. Okay, I'm not going to finish everything because, you know, it's, everything takes time. So I'm just giving you an idea how you construct the face. All you got to do is up to you guys to finish your drawings. So I'm just giving you a hint how you construct it step by step. Okay. And I know you've seen many of my drawings that some of them are finished. Some of them need a little bit of help. So... It's just going to take a lot of time trying to finish this whole thing here. Alright, so you have an idea how this method actually works. You start off with the cross and then you add in the features little by little and then you form in the shape of the face. Okay, so let's do uh, another one here. We did this one already. Not this one. This one is a little bit different, so let's try this one out. Let me turn off the AC, it's kind of messing me up a little bit. this area where I'm working at that the AC is so close but I have no no choice it's just too much noise in the kitchen people make too much noise with their dogs and when they come up in and out of the houses unfortunately we live so close together so that's the bad part about this living together So this is the basic Loomis method. And this is going to be a little bit different. And I've shown you guys so many ways how to tackle and challenge the Loomis method. This will be the eyebrow line, the nose line, and the mouth line. And the reason why <clears throat> we have to start off with a circle, because of course, uh, that is the roundness of the, the whole head, but you're going to slice it afterwards, of course. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start um, shaping the face, which is sort of like the shape going this way. Then uh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's do this correct here. Oh, let's start out with the eyebrows first, which is actually the bridge of the nose, then the eyebrows, yes. Okay, then after that, the nose, do a triangle shape for the nose. Mouth, 
chin and then we can make the shape of the face okay now we can slice it off and then we can slice off this part we can actually do the rest right here once you have this done you'll be able to see the same balance you see see how simple it is like that okay now we can start you know working with the eye line here you can start in the center right here indicate where the uh let's start with the nose first so we're working now with the basic loomis method Hopefully this video comes out perfect because I can't really see what I'm doing because usually I usually have the camera a little bit low so I can see the the alignment, you know, the way I'm doing it. But unfortunately, I got to work this way. So hopefully it works out. But I usually review my videos afterwards. Once I'm finished with this, I'm going to review it. And then if I think it's good, then I'll just load it on YouTube. And then later on, I'll do it on Facebook also. Do the shape of the face. The planes. Remember that the eyes, when you do the eyes, there's so many ways you can use the, um, sort of like a, a diamond shape to do the eyes. Say this is the line for the eye. So you can, you know, this is the segments, right? So you can start sort of like a diamond shape like that, you know, a diamond shape. And then little by little, you're shaping the eye. Another way of doing this is like doing an oval like this and then do lines like this and another line like that. But this would be more for like a female's eye, if you want. Always remember the center, the box shape, which is sort of like a rect, not a rectangle, a square shape to do the iris of the eye. So always remember that. You have the eyelid. And always remember the eyelashes always come out this way. Okay. But this is a man. So we're doing a man right now. The man is more different from a woman. So the features are going to be a little bit more different. Remember that then when you're doing the nose, the planes come out this way. So like a big V shape, a V shape, not a B, a V shape. See, a V shape like that. Then the hairline up here, see? And you're gonna see little by little, your face is gonna actually start taking form. Okay? And the neck is a little bit thicker. Because remember, when you're drawing women, the eyes are the neck. Okay. Right there. Okay. So you have an idea, I'm not gonna finish the whole thing, so you have an idea of what I did here. Um, this method, I should have done it in ink to see it more clear, but it's a very simple, guys. All you have to do is go back on the video and check the way I did it. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will probably do some more tutorials later on in the afternoon, so good luck with your artwork.